Irma has left new hazards in its wake. This nursing home in Florida's Hollywood has now been evacuated, but too late to save some of the vulnerable elderly residents. The cause of the deaths is not yet known, but the home had reportedly been without power since Sunday. We've evacuated 115 patients to other memorial facilities. At this time, we have other patients in critical care. Right now, the building has been sealed off and is, we're conducting a criminal investigation inside. We, may, we believe at this time they may be related to the loss of power in the storm, but we're conducting a criminal investigation, not ruling anything out uh, at this time. Power blackouts are not the only hazard. Three family members died in this Orlando home from carbon monoxide poisoning. A portable generator had been on inside the house. Just when you think you know you made it through the storm and whatnot, it's, no. you got to be, you got to be, you know, ready, ready for, for anything. anything. You, know, you got to be cautious of any, you know, before, after, during. Offshore, these tropical islands are better known as a holiday destination. Now, it's estimated nearly every house in the Florida Keys has been damaged and a quarter destroyed. The islands were mostly evacuated by the time the hurricane hit, roaring in on Sunday with winds of over 200 kilometers an hour. But some people stayed. When Katrina hit Louisiana and stuff like that, and you feel sorry for people when you think, oh, what are they going through? But when it hit, like, hits home, it's totally different, you know? And it's not just us, it's everybody. To the south, these NASA images show how the lush green islands of the Caribbean have turned brown since the storm ripped through. Nearly half of Irma's victims died here. Many people are still being evacuated from the devastated islands, where there are shortages of food, water, power, and medicine. I've been fired by Hurricane Irma uh, because my house, my business, both my vehicles, everything is gone. All my stuff strewn up and down the hill. Uh, it's been a very difficult situation, and my wife and I are now on the way to uh, Boston to visit with her brother uh, until we can regroup and start to work our way, find a, a base in the USA. Don't know if we'll ever make it back to live on St. John again, and that, that breaks our heart because it was a wonderful place. Hurricane Irma was the worst Atlantic storm in a century. The full extent of its devastating legacy is yet to be known. Arabella Munro, TRT World.